So gas boilers, what are they? Gas boilers use mains gas or methane to heat homes via radiators and to provide hot water from taps and showers. Gas is burned and the heat is transferred to water across a heat exchanger. Traditional boilers have a separate water heater. This is usually an immersion heater, whereas more modern combi boilers produce hot water and heating from the same appliance. A combi boiler only heats up water when it's needed, so these boilers are more efficient than traditional models, which heat up the whole tank. Heating can be controlled from the boiler itself, from a room thermostat, or via thermostatic radiator valves, the knob on the side of the radiator with numbers. So what are the pros and cons? Gas boilers are popular heating appliance that most people are familiar with. If your home is on the gas grid, they can be installed or replaced relatively easily, and there are many gas safe registered engineers to provide support and repairs. Combi boilers heat water instantaneously. When you turn on the tap, which saves energy and money. Gas remains significantly cheaper per unit than electricity, so gas systems are usually cheaper to run than electrical heating systems. So, how can I use it more efficiently? The key to using your boiler efficiently is to make good use of the heating controls. The boiler itself will likely have a timer on it, which can be set around your routine, or your programmer can be used to set what time your heating comes on. Setting the heating to turn on about 30 minutes before you get up and turn off 30 minutes before you go to bed is a great idea. And if you're out in the day, the heating can be programmed to go off during this time. The thermostat can also be used to control the temperature in the home. Somewhere between 18 and 21 degrees is about right for most people. The room thermostat lets the boiler know when the desired temperature is reached, so the boiler turns off. This helps to save energy and money, as the boiler is not using fuel unless it needs to. Each radiator should also have an adjustable radiator valve, and the numbers are usually from 1 to 5. This can be used to control the heat going to each individual room, as you may want it warmer in the living room than the bedroom, for example. You can turn the heat all the way down in unused rooms to save energy and money. Do make sure these rooms are heated periodically to avoid damp and mould buildup. Ensuring that your boiler is serviced yearly by a reputable gas safe registered engineer is key to keeping it working safely and efficiently for years to come. Servicing can flag up issues early on and prevent cost problems further down the line. Keep an eye on your boiler's pressure gauge. A drop in pressure can prevent the boiler from working properly. If the pressure needle is not in the correct range, use the mechanism built into the boiler to alter the pressure. Usually this is a small valve, which can be opened briefly to alter the pressure. The flow temperature on the combi boiler controls the temperature of the water leaving the boiler. By reducing the flow temperature, you can save energy and help your boiler run more efficiently. The optimum flow temperature is different for each home, and you may find it takes a few tries to find the right setting for you, but it's recommended to reduce the flow temperature to 60 degrees and see how the home feels for a few days. If rooms are too cool or taking too long to heat up, you can increase the flow temperature a little 